Hello fellow geeks, in this video we are going to take a look at the Garmin Instinct eSports Edition smartwatch. It's a 299 US dollar or 459 Singapore dollar mid-level GPS gaming smartwatch built not only for adventure and sports but for gamers as well. This eSports edition of the Instinct series levels up the playing field with its dedicated eSports activity profile and it comes with its own eSports software that allows you to broadcast your biometrics directly to your gaming streams through the Garmin StreamUp app. It comes with a sleek black box with red-orange accents with a sketch style design of the watch on the front. At the back, there's not much information other than the box contents, so let's open this up. In the box, we get the watch itself a small manual and its proprietary charging cable with a USB type A on one end. It doesn't come with its own charging plug, but you can connect the watch to a computer, portable charger or a USB charging hub to charge the watch. The watch is also not compatible with wireless charging, so the only way to charge it is to use the cable that comes with it. The watch has a traditional circular shape, but it changes things up with its bold colors. Following its packaging with its matte black and red orange accents, it also has an aggressive look that will appeal to gamers. This is a monochrome display with no touchscreen capabilities and its display size is a custom 2 window design at 23 by 23 millimeters with a display resolution of 128 by 128 pixels. The bezel and case material of the watch is made out of fiber reinforced polymer and the lens material is made of chemically strengthened glass. It's also good to note that the watch along with the watches of the Instinct series are also built to the US military standard 810. These watches are tested for a range of environmental conditions so it can perform in high altitude, extreme cold or heat and can withstand repeated shocks, turbulence and sharp impacts. It is also resistant to rain and dust corrosion. The Garmin Instinct is also water resistant up to 100 meters so it's great if you do a lot of water sports and activities. Wearing the watch, the watch fits comfortably on the wrist. Moving my wrist around does not interfere with the buttons and it feels light for its weight. The size of the bezel is big enough and the display is sharp. Moving on to the physical buttons on the watch. On the bezels, we have 5 buttons in total. Pressing the control light button to activate the backlight and holding it will bring you to the controls menu. Pressing the menu up button will scroll outwards through the widget loop and menus and holding it will view the main menu. Pressing the ABC down button will also scroll downwards through the widget loop and menus and holding it will view the altimeter, barometer and compass screen. Pressing the GPS button will view the activity list and start or stop an activity. It also chooses an option in the menu and holding it will view the GPS coordinates and save your location. Last but not least, we have the back set button which will return you to the previous screen and holding it will view the clock menu. Regarding sensors, we have an accelerometer for counting steps, wrist heart rate monitor. We also get a gyroscope for motion data, an electronic compass and barometric altimeter sensor. You also get GPS, GLONASS and Galileo satellite positioning for tracking. Regarding battery life by default, it can last up to 14 days and more with normal casual use and up to 16 hours if you activate GPS mode. Esports mode will get you up to 80 hours and ultra track mode up to 40 hours. In my test, I had everything on default with esports mode activated every now and then. It lasted me about 12 days, which is pretty decent for a smartwatch at this price. Let's take a look at our main screen. Now a good thing to note is that the Instinct does not have other watch faces you can download and transfer over from the app. However, you are able to customize the watch face. There are 12 presets to choose from. Let's go with this watch face and you are able to customize the watch face to suit your needs. I like these settings so we can leave it as that and we'll go ahead and confirm the setting. Anyway, the presets and customization on the watch itself is good enough and has plenty of styles to choose from. On the main watch face, you can cycle through some widgets already in place. We have a pedometer, a heart rate monitor, hours rested, a record of our steps and calories burnt throughout the day, a notifications panel, and a calendar synced to our phone and the current weather. Holding the ABC button will bring us to the widget loop where we can view more widgets. We can view the compass, altimeter, and barometer. 
go into the control menu we have a few options here we can power off the device control the backlight a do not disturb mode a lock mode you can also broadcast your heart rate add alternate time zones we also have some basic music controls where you can play pause play the next or previous track and even control the volume there's also a find my phone function an audio chime plays from the phone which gives you a general direction of where the phone is located and is useful when you have misplaced your phone somewhere else moving on to the clock menu here we can set alarms a timer stopwatch you can also set the time with a gps and set up alerts like sunrise sunset and stormy weather calls and notifications are also in the app calling will prompt the watch to vibrate and a notification will pop up you can either answer or decline the call however there is no microphone on the watch so this is a good option if you're on your wireless earphones while your phone is in your pocket notifications can be fully read however due to the sub dial layout some of the letters do get cropped which can be annoying for some now let's set this watch to esports mode going to esports mode we can view some data the current time our heart rate a time of how long we've been gaming and our current stress level on the next page we can view the maximum and average heart rate and maximum stress level we mentioned the garmin stream up app at the start of the video and we'll show you how you can overlay it on a broadcaster software so you can view your biometrics while streaming an intense game session the garmin stream up software is a pretty basic one you are able to set three values heart rate stress and body battery you can also choose some preset orientations and styles and of course change the color down here we have some overlays that can be activated if the value has hit a certain threshold so if my heart rate goes up to 110 this animated overlay will play we also have an animated frame border that can be used for this video we will go with a basic setup so let's take a look at how it looks like while playing overwatch as you can see the stream up app works in real time i did not experience any connection problems while playing games and this is a great way to showcase your biometrics and is great for intense action and horror games next up a quick tour of the garmin connect app and its features going to the garmin connect app you can view a graphic of our current heart rate next is the body battery details this is a very interesting detail that i've not seen on other small watches this measures the amount of energy reserves you have throughout the day with this panel it recommends how active and how much rest you should be having and just below that is a record summary from yesterday and the last seven days what's great about the app is that you can view challenges and earn badges it's sort of like a reward system where you can self-improve and stay active if you have friends or family members who have garmin watches as well you can participate in challenges and compete with one another next is the calendar where you can view some details about the activities and stats throughout the month and next is the news feed panel where you can view the activities of your friends and their achievements Overall, the Garmin Connect app, its user interface, and the ease of access to the app is very polished and well designed. All the information that is needed is all in there. The overall performance and design of the watch makes it easy to use for sports and active tracking. And it's also great for gamers who would like to take their games and streams to the next level with the capability of adding the heart rate and stress level overlays to their gameplay. The UI on the watch does take some time to get used to because it uses physical buttons instead of a touchscreen one. If you're looking for a smartwatch that's suited for those involved in both fitness and gaming, it sure does offer a lot of features for its price. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel and give us a like. And don't forget to smash that bell icon so you can stay updated to our latest videos. Until then, this is Zaki signing off. Adios muchachos!